literally am the dumbest person that I know. Like, I am so stupid. part of driving <laughs> oh my god there's a really hot guy who just saw me doing that and he's walking a really cute dog and he sees me recording myself in my car i want to die happy wednesday morning everyone it's just your casual wednesday morning emergency room run no this is not clickbait yes i am literally going to the er right now i'm actually picking up megan first so she can go to the er with me um i'm probably gonna need to get stitches i definitely am gonna need to get stitches i just want to say that like Yes, sometimes it is hard being as stupid as I am and um Basically that I'm just like really dumb. Um, so today's Wednesday on Saturday night I was at a friend's party and imagine like an attic Like a ladder up to an attic. Well, we climbed like one of those but it was up to a rooftop, right? So I like scraped my leg as I was going up to get to the rooftop and it started bleeding But like I really didn't think anything of it like it was pretty bad, but it wasn't like I just didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, it'll be fine, whatever. It's gonna heal, because that's what things do. And then it like bruised everywhere, and it's like a pretty big wound, and I was like, ah. So I sent a picture to my father, in which he replied, you're an idiot, you need to go to the ER, and you're gonna have to get stitches. Which I just like didn't want to, I didn't want to come to terms with the fact that, yes, I am gonna have to get stitches. Because that doesn't sound fun, and that really terrifies me, and I think I might die, but um, I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly on this channel. So today we're getting stitches. Shout out to Megan Hughes for coming with me because I couldn't do this without her. I literally am the dumbest person that I know. Like, I am so stupid. Guys, we're at, oh, so I found we're at urgent care. I might not have to get stitches. I can't believe it. <laughs> She's being a drama queen. <laughs> My dad's being a drama queen. He yeah, no, it's her parents. Her parents, her parents told her. They said, you need stitches, man. That is mm -hmm. very bad. And my stepmom's a doctor. <laughs> so... I don't know, but we just showed the lady at um, when we came in the lady who was checking us in She was like, how big is the wound? And then we showed her and she was like, I don't think you need stitches <laughs> Update everyone, I don't have to get stitches because obviously it's been like days I was thinking that too. I'm like, can they even stitch us up anymore? Yeah, with this, it's it's yeah. like it's pretty bad. I will. It looks like she got bit. It looks like she got bit. It actually is really painful. Like, I'm not gonna lie. And I also, I'm a very dramatic person, but I'm not dramatic when it comes to my injuries. Like, my leg was bleeding an unbelievable amount on Saturday night. And Megan was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And she was like, okay, <laughs> psycho. I literally, I, cause she told me that that happened. She goes, guys, I just cut my leg pretty bad. Cause we're going up to like the roof. Oh, hold on. Hey, we're back. Sorry. Um, so basically we we're going up to her roof. And once we got up there, she was like, guys, I just cut my leg pretty bad. But she wasn't really making a big deal out of it. And then we're hanging out later in the party. It's probably like an hour or so later. And I looked at Kenzie's leg and I was like, that just happened now? She had, like blood like dripping down her thigh <laughs> and was doing nothing about it. <laughs> no, I was, but they didn't have band-aids. So like I kept cleaning it up, but they didn't have anything that yeah. I could do anything with it. Was it was just like a very large one. Yeah. So then I was like, um, maybe, uh, um, I think you should do something about that. And she was like, oh no guys, I'm fine. I'm literally fine. So, like, okay, crazy. She texted me last night. Megan, I don't need to be dramatic, but I need you to come with me to get stitches <laughs> And here we are. Um, Not getting stitches. Yeah, Woo. We have good news. Good news. And the nurse is gonna come check it out. She's gonna get some antibiotics. <laughs> and Megan's literally my mother, like answering, answering for me. Oh yes, oh, yeah. the tennis shot. Yes, yes. She doesn't know. I don't know why I'm doing that. No, it's amazing. Are, Please keep it up. You're fully able. To no, it's, it's so. I'm like I'm here for moral support. It's like explaining my side. <laughs> That's why I'm everyone. I didn't need stitches. I wasn't even being dramatic. It was literally my father who was being dramatic. But uh, they said that I should have gotten stitches, but it's totally fine. And I have antibiotics, and they put some stuff on my leg, and it's gonna be okay. So that's all that matters. Thank you so much to Megan for coming and joining me in this. I love being a, a motherly supporter. <laughs> I loved not getting stitches with you. It was great. Now listen, everyone, I know what you're thinking. Kinsey is so dramatic, blah, 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 blah. We're gonna move on from this segment of the vlog. Um, actually, I will have you know my leg is in pain. And when I get injured, I like really downplay it because I'm like, oh, it's fine. But like, actually, I I should have gotten stitches. Like, I really, really should have done that. But whatever. Anyways, I'm just finishing up my new channel intro, which is so freaking cool. I have like 
15 videos to edit so I'm just gonna sit on my couch all day and edit every single video that I possibly can edit okay so I'm thinking about hoodies that I want to sell and I want choose to love because that is what this channel is about is choosing to love people yourself you get it you know you you've heard it all what's up girl <gasps> what's up just got out of the shower my apartment needs to be cleaned I'm setting a timer for 30 minutes if you guys have been putting off cleaning or doing your laundry or whatever I've been putting it off at all do it right now I'm setting a timer for 30 minutes at the end of this 30 minutes, my apartment is going to be spotless. Kind of like a marshmallow in this. This is not going to help with not looking like a marshmallow. It looks like I'm really bracing for the cold, but I'm not. I need my vlog tripod back. I had to order a new one today. It's like September in LA and I'm dressed like... I'm also going to church and I'm dressed like... Good. Okay, I changed, but I hate my outfit. And all my clothes are in the laundry. I cleaned my entire apartment, but I didn't finish my laundry as we can see, so that's good. Dude, literally, let's calm down and take a chill pill. It's cold. Thank you. <laughs> Did you ask them to heat it up? I like, don't know. okay, so Drew and I are going to church right now. It's at a different location, so we couldn't do our normal Starbucks run. Oh, there's nuts on it. This is not my day. <laughs> you are. He's on something today. For once, I'm like the quiet, weird mood one. And then you're the one. We're nuts never at the same time. Actually, yeah, it is a lot of the time, but. <laughs> he's like fake spitting his food up because he's so dramatic. Um, I got an ice matcha. Drew, can you literally calm down for like maybe a second? The straw makes it like really hard to Wait, that's mine. Drink. Why did you put, why do you always do that? Left-handed. <laughs> but like, it would make sense to put my cup next to me and your cup next to you. But thank you, anyways. Okay, well, we'll be there. Yeah, you're welcome for the Starbucks and for going inside to get it for you. And first of all, I'm paying you back. Second, criticism. you're welcome for driving you to church, so. I've offered to Uber many times. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, so it is now Thursday. I am in such an amazing mood. I found out that I'm going to Bethel Conference this weekend, which I didn't even know was going to be in LA, which is weird because I love conferences like that. So I'm so excited. It actually starts tonight, but I can't go tonight. I'm going tomorrow and the next day. I'm on my way right now to Diane's college because I want to do schoolwork with her. Life hack, if you're an online student, it's really good to go to like a normal college campus or like a campus anywhere. Um, and do your schoolwork because then you feel like a normal college student. I'm just like fall. It feels like fall I'm just like literally in such a good mood things are just really working out. You know, it's been a good freaking day do you I'm back <laughs> We're in the drive-thru at Chifle. I'm so happy about this. I got a cookies and cream milkshake with two cherries on top Chifle. Not one but two we were ordering and the guy was standing right here and she would whisper to me so I would say it out loud and the guy could literally hear her whispering and I was just like <laughs> What is going on? Why this do is I such a fall day like, like grandma in your vlogs? Why did you why do I look like an egg? It literally it's so fall and I'm getting Chick-fil-A and going to do school work. This feels like high school. Yeah, except you're blasting the AC. Um, I'm wearing sweaters. <laughs> That like contradicts itself. Like you're blasting the AC so you can- I have to fake <laughs> fall to California. Where have you been? So Disney I'd like to rock. apologize to everyone in this vlog for not being present. I have been back at school. So yeah, yeah I really like to apologize. Hi, thank you. Awesome, have a good day. For two cherries. Look at that. Thank you. Two cherries. Hey guys, I'm back on my couch. I'm editing. I didn't really vlog much today just because we were literally at a college and I was just doing schoolwork. Did so much schoolwork. I basically have to finish like everything for the next few days so I can go to the conference and like not have to worry about anything. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I honestly like I don't even know what all is in this but like I hope it was good. I hope you enjoy. Subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.